Hello everyone, welcome to SQL Wednesdays. In this video, I will walk you through one very important question. So if you see in the left hand side, this is my input. This is a table with three columns. One column is home team, second column is away team and the third column is giving me the winner of that match, right? So this is the cricket tournament and it is played between the two teams. Right. So in my first record, India is playing against Australia away team as in that means the match is happening in home team that is India. So it is India versus Australia and the winner is India. In the second row, it is Sri Lanka versus West Indies and the winner is West Indies. So this is how the input is there. Right. So what if I want this kind of output where I am getting all the team names in one column then I'm getting total matches played by each team and total number of matches won, total matches lost. So if you can get this output, then my problem is resolved, right? So if you know this kind of solution, you can comment below or you can just try it yourself first and then watch my video. All right. So now let's move to the SQL server and see how this can happen. All right, so now before going ahead, I would request you to subscribe to this channel and like as much as possible and share with your friends and students and colleagues who are looking for such content. I would be posting the content on SQL, Power BI and the courses related to business analytics, data analytics. All right, so moving ahead with this video, now I am on the SQL server. So now I have already created this table cricket underscore tournament. If I try to execute this, I have three columns home away and winner, right? So as I explained, this is my input. Now I want to create the output as depicted earlier, right? So for that, my first statement would be select my home team right and now i have to create a case when my home team and the winner is same then it should give me one if it is not then give me zero right so this is how i can understand who is the actual winner so case when my home team is equal to winner then the answer is one else zero and case end so if you are not aware of a case how to use this you can watch my previous videos i have taught you explicitly how to use case in every other function as well Right, so I have created case when home team is equal to winner, then one else zero, and I can create this, I can name this column as winner flag from the table cricket underscore tournament. If I try to execute this, what will be the output? So I have two columns. First is home team, I am getting the home team. And I'm getting if the home team is the winner or not. If the answer is one, then the home team is winner. Otherwise, the away team is the winner, right? For zero, away team is the winner. All right. So now, similarly, I will do this for the away team. Instead of home team, I will use away underscore team. Then case when away underscore team is equal to winner, then one L zero and it should be the winner flag let's make it union all right now let's see if i execute these queries now i'm getting like this home underscore team i'm getting these and winner underscore flag will give me the depiction that if it is the team is winner or not right so now i have the query with me now what i want is i want to select now let's create a name 
or you can say rename these columns as team name this as well team underscore name right now i will use select team name comma now let's just select this and then we'll see other things select this and let's try to execute this all right so there is some error near syntax bracket So this is fine from this case when this is also fine all right so whenever we are using such kind of queries when we are saying select columns from and this is my query so there is a sub query so i have to define this right so let's say this is x right so now if we try to execute this this will this should give me some values yeah so i'm getting one column as team underscore name right now i'm getting all the team names so what i'll do is instead of this i will use group by team underscore name right now it will not not be duplicate right so now i have eight team team names and these are all distinct right now my problem is not solved because i only have one column now i want total number of matches then total number of matches one total of matches lost right so here instead of one column i will add one more column which is count of one so whenever the row is there i need to count this will be my total matches right so i will write as total matches right again comma third column will be my sum of all the wins so all the win is there is a winner flag right so sum of all the win, winner flags as let's say total wins right now for total losses what we can do is total number of matches minus total number of wins so what the formula will be count of one minus sum of sum of winner flag right as total losses right so now i have four columns team name then column two is this column three is this column four is this let's see my output see now if you see here you will have four columns team name total matches total wins total losses right so this is absolutely correct right so now what i need to change in this output the only thing is if i have to sort this on the basis of particular column for example i have to sort this on the basis of total matches or sort on the basis of the team name or on the basis of total wins so you want the name teams who are winning the most should be on the top right so you will order them by this particular column right so you have to add one more query statement after group by you will use order by order by total wins right so now if i execute this you will see it has been sorted but i want to sort this on the basis of descending order so by default it is ascending i will use descending and now if i select and execute you will get india on the top because india has won two matches after two second is australia who has won one out of two then england one out of two right one one out of one so this is how you can have the columns now if you want to sort this on the basis of percentage wins so for india it is 100 percent two out of two for australia it is 50 percent one out of two for england it is one out of one that is 100 percent so so on that basis it will be india then england then any other country so it will be india then england or west indies then australia right 
so for that you will need to add one more column where you will calculate the percentage win that would be equal to total wins divided by total matches into 100 and use that column to sort right so ultimately there are a couple of things which are really important first is you have to use case to identify who is the winner right so here we are creating home team equal to winner whenever this is true then i am getting the one else it is zero so this is one important point second important point is using union all so whenever you want to you know append the columns so these two these values are coming from two columns not one column so if i select the default table again so i am appending that i am getting this home team or you say team underscore name from column home team as well as away team right so i have to append this so i have to append this column under home team for that i will use union all all right so these are the two important things and then if you want to use the distinct values you can group by team underscore name and if you want to sort on particular column then you have to use order by as i have explained this in my previous videos as well so i hope this video was useful you understood how to solve complex queries because these kind of questions are generally asked in the interviews and uh, if you know the strategy if you know how to solve them then with the tweaks you can easily solve them in the interviews as well so all right so if you have any other solution in your mind if you know some other solution you can comment below and then we can discuss it will be helpful for other viewers as well all right guys thanks a lot for watching this video and do subscribe and share across with your friends thank you for watching